often heard yet seldom seen, owls are hunters that operate mainly at night. They resemble the day-flying predators, the hawks and falcons, in having sharp talons and hooked bills for catching and subduing prey, but in addition owls have several adaptations that help them hunt in the dark. Their eyes are very large, to gather all available light, and face forward, to help them judge distance. They have exceptionally acute hearing, and their soft plumage enables them to fly silently. The two families of owls, typical owls and barn owls, are found worldwide in most habitats, from dense forest to tundra. Owls are highly distinctive, with an upright posture, a large, rounded head, and a short tail. The outer toe is reversible, allowing it to point forward or backward, improving the ability to perch or grab prey. Owls have excellent eyesight, which works as well in daylight as it does at night. They also have exceptional hearing, easily picking up the faint rustle made by a small mammal, even under snow. Some species can hunt in total darkness, their asymmetrical ear openings giving them a three-dimensional perception of sound. All owls have soft, dense plumage, with soft fringes on their flight feathers that muffle the sound of air turbulence. Owls take a wide variety of living prey, the size of which depends on the owl species. Most feed on insects, birds, or small mammals, and large owls commonly catch and eat smaller owls. Owls that live in woods and forests tend to drop from a stationary position onto their prey, but those that occur in open country must hunt in mid-air, using slow, low-level, quartering flight. Owls do not build their own nest. Instead, they rely on the previous year's efforts of other birds or simply select a suitable cavity in the ground, a tree, a rocky crevice, or a building. The almost spherical eggs are laid in the nest or straight onto the surface. Most owls lay two to seven eggs, which usually hatch at two-day intervals, leading to large discrepancies in the age of the chicks in a brood. If food is scarce, the older chicks take the larger part of the food offered, while the younger chicks may starve. There are several races of this small, stocky owl found in Australia and Asia. One form, found in Queensland, is dark brown, while the form found in Tasmania and New Zealand, and sometimes considered a separate species, is lighter, with contrasting spots. All have a high-pitched, two-syllable, boobook call. Wherever it lives, the boobook owl, also called the moray pork owl, roosts in trees during the day, emerging to feed at dusk. It specializes in catching insects and birds in mid-air. Found on all continents except Antarctica, the common barn owl is the most widespread of all species of owls, and one of the most widely distributed of all land birds. It has a pale, heart-shaped face, long legs covered in white feathers, and a very short tail. The female lays eggs in a hollow tree or an abandoned building. She feeds the young with food brought by the male, she also broods them for up to three weeks after hatching, until they have acquired the down they need to keep themselves warm. Changing agricultural practices have reduced the barn owl's food supply, in some areas it is now rare. The tawny owl is found in a broad range of habitats, wherever there is sufficient tree cover to provide a daytime roost. Its generally chestnut brown plumage is heavily streaked and mottled, providing excellent camouflage among branches and leaves. It has a wide variety of calls, among which the best known is the twit tuo call produced during the breeding season. This owl hunts from a perch, and can locate its prey, mainly small mammals, birds, reptiles, and insects, by sound alone. With its long wings and low, flapping flight, this heavily mottled owl can easily be mistaken for a hawk. Usually a solitary bird, it normally roosts on the ground, but in winter, particularly when it snows, it will perch in groups in trees. Groups can also be seen when food is scarce, when large numbers move to richer areas, or when there is an abundance of food in one particular place. This owl usually finds its prey, mostly small mammals such as mice and voles, and at times birds by flying, and then pouncing from mid-air. It lays its eggs in heather, grass, or crops, digging a hollow to hold them safely. Unusually for an owl, the female may build a nest from sticks that are lying nearby. It is a fairly quiet owl, with a low, gentle hooting call. Most owls roost and nest in trees, but the burrowing owl makes its home underground, an adaptation that allows it to live in all kinds of open, treeless areas, from South American pampas to airports and golf courses. When on guard outside the burrow, it adopts a very upright stance and gives a harsh, rattling call, thought to imitate a rattlesnake. It spends much of its time hunting on the ground. The Great Horned Owl, with its distinctive ear tufts or horns, is the largest of the American owls and found throughout the continent. It occurs in a broad range of habitats, 
from forest to desert, and is known to nest at high altitudes, usually in old nests of other large birds, but also in tree cavities and on cliff edges. It is generally a sedentary bird and, especially during the breeding season, very territorial in its nesting and hunting ranges. Usually active between dusk and dawn, its night vision and hearing are extremely acute, making it an effective hunter. Its main prey are small mammals, but insects, reptiles, amphibians, and birds, including other owl species, are also eaten. Great horned owls are very vocal, especially during courtship, their loud hoot represents the classic owl call. Most active at dusk and dawn, but becomes diurnal in summer when daylight is continuous. It spends much of the time on the ground or perching on low rocks, and uses its extraordinary eyesight and hearing to locate distant or snow-covered prey, then ambushes it silently. The snowy owl feeds on lemmings, rabbits, hares, and waterfowl. In fact, its breeding cycle is directly related to the abundance of lemmings, the population of the latter tends to rise and fall on a three to four year cycle, and the snowy owl follows suit.